today we're doing skinny banana bread mini muffins. I am going to show you. For Sawyer, you're a breakfast staple. Look, I got a cactus bean. We're going to start with mashing the bananas, but not <laughs> before we take the peel off. Wait. Sawyer, no Sawyer, Why? not in the peel. Okay, you need to smash them. Smash, smash, smash. Smash my banana peels. This recipe calls for four bananas. Um, that always really varies depending on the size of your banana, so fortunately it also says one and a th about one and a third cup. So I won't gonna... get you down! We're actually going That's to... you! I messed you! Yeah, can I add some more banana? Yes! Stop for a second. We're actually going to measure our bananas so we get the right, the right amount. Um, these are pretty large bananas and very ripe. Excuse me. Two. I'm making you die, bananas. <laughs> okay, thoroughly mashed. Now we need to. Measure it. Thank you, Sawyer, for opening that one we may not need. Okay. I got a two-third cup measuring. So I'm going to do two of these to get one and a third cup. Sawyer. Oh, Sawyer. We have our mashed banana. We know it's the right amount. We can actually keep using our masher. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. Without splashing out of the bowl, we need that sugar. We're going to add in an egg. Now you definitely don't want to splash out of the bowl with raw egg in there. One, that's just one egg. I'm going to make you die, egg. <laughs> then we have a whole tablespoon of vanilla extract, which yeah, seems like a lot, but hey, that's what the recipe calls for. Um, it says we have to stir, 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 right? Then three tablespoons of white brown sugar. Ooh, and I two hope. tablespoons of regular granulated sugar. And finally, one teaspoon of brown cinnamon. And these are our wet ingredients. Yes, we're going to, are we going to put the wet ingredients into the dry or the dry ingredients? Into the wet. We're going to put the dry into the wet. Good. Okay, let's get these all mixed up. Mix it all together. The mash is the fun tool for the job, but probably not the best, so we'll switch to a spoon shortly. Are you bowing or curtsying or both? Again, remember, do not let anything come out of the bowl, okay? So the recipe calls for one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. It says you can use white or whole wheat. We do, I do three-quarter cup of whole, of white, three-quarter cup of whole wheat. So it's a little healthier oh, that way. I want to show them how I sew and sew them. Okay, here, I'll hold it, you stir. See, so you are making butter. Yeah. And okay, now keep it flat and let's... Whisk it gently this. all together. I can do it like you. Somebody uh, don't no, do that. No, don't try to do it. Sawyer, that's why you don't try to do it like me. You do it slowly and carefully. It takes practice, okay? I'm all right. Practicing, though. Practice by doing it slowly. Try One teaspoon practicing. of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. And then a half teaspoon of salt. See, I'm baking. Don't spill, please. You spill. These are for your breakfast. If you spill, you won't get any muffins for your breakfast. Hello. So, 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 so. We are on a roll today, as you can see.
Which are the wet ingredients? Which are the dry? We're going to put our dry ingredients in there and gently stir it just to combine. So we don't want to stir it too much just till it's all combined together. I did it! Okay, let me do it, Sam. Now let me do it, Sam. I don't see. No, we're just making a batter and then we're putting the muffin tin. Wait, we're going to make it into a big ball. There, we okay. made a big ball. Good job. Now hey, why are you messing my ball up? <laughs> because we got to get all the dry ingredients stirred in. Ah! Okay, because we are making these for Sawyer, what do we add? Chocolate special. chips! Yes, we're making mini muffins and adding oh, mini yeah. chocolate chips. Oh, that was too many. I would probably have more than this, but this is all we got, so we're going with it. Actually, this is probably a decent amount. Okay. Then you have two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. You just gently stir it in without overmixing the batter. Someone who knows a bit more than me can probably explain why you do this at the very end. I just do it because that's what the recipe says. Muffins. You Please don't. We are obviously a little high energy today. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Why? Because it was it wasn't feeling good. <laughs> you Instead are of silly. feeling good, they said feeling good. The oven has been preheated to 350. Uh, we will pop these in. The recipe calls for 18 to 20 minutes, five minutes, but of course we switch these to mini muffins, so it will be shorter. We'll check them around 10 and go. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes, and I think these guys are done. I did a little toothpick test. It was a bit tricky given. There's some chunks of banana and there's chocolate chips, but I think they're done, so I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. I did mention earlier, although it's a nonstick pan, I still sprayed it with cooking spray. I use this cooking spray that has flour in it when I'm doing baking goods. Highly recommend that. So we will let these cool for a bit, and then we will have a taste. Popping these out of the pan to cool. Um, they did go for about 12 minutes. Um, it looks like it's probably enough time. Um, as I said, we're adjusting the recipe. Uh, I am just in the recipe. We usually take two or three of these, I mean, freeze them in batches of two or three, then put one batch in the fridge oh, at a time to oh, thaw oh, so that Sawyer oh, can eat oh, them. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, and we just replenish it when she eats the last of the batch from the freezer. Taste test time. Here, Sonia, let's do this one. No, oh. I want to do this one. Okay, that one works. I'll do this one. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Obviously, chocolatey banana bread. Mmm. Keep cooking and keep laughing.